everyone to the November 2019 tournament. We have Kingstad and Pet Turtle on intersection as a first match. Sorry about that. There was a slight mistake with the delay. We'll be getting to the actual match in just a second because it is starting. So yeah. Sorry about that. My bad. Not sure how I forgot to actually set the delay, but apparently I did. So yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay, so, now we have a delay. Hey, everything's good. We will get to the game as soon as the game gets going. Let's see what we have here. So yeah, Intersection, one of those maps where, I mean, it's very easy to defend up here, so you get a lot of... Well, a lot of turrets up there and makes it difficult to go in. The flat map tends to make it more of a vehicle map anyway. Which then creates an even more lopsided situation. But we have Kingside going for shield bots right off the bat, which would be a bit easier to climb the hills with. On the other hand, Pet Turtle going very far forward very quickly. And Cloaky start. So Cloaky versus Shield Bot on a map that I would expect to have light vehicles, but or rovers rather, but I guess like I said, it's kinda hard to get up the hill with rovers. Pet Turtle, I'm not entirely sure about the strategy because they're kind of leaving the hill a bit hard to defend. I mean, the gambit is you go forward, you build up further out, you defend more of a ring around here, and then you go up to the back where just now you have a front line defense on top of the terrain defense in order to keep that back line protected. While Kingstead, on the other hand, doing a much more typical start of starting on the plateau and building up from there. That being said, Pet Turtle is going to be getting into Kingstad's base a little bit sooner. There are no defense turrets. There's one bandit against two glaives. That's going to be a little bit tricky. And we already saw Pet Turtle was able to win out that first fight. Please, Pet Turtle, put those glaives together. Get the glaives together. Retreat. Regroup. Then fight the bandit. You'll actually have a chance then. Otherwise, you're screwed. Because bandits do beat glaives one-on-one. -on -one, even, with, even with good micro. Like, just glaives don't win. On the other hand, glaives do distract very well. So we're kind of coming down to Pet Turtle's micro, but it looks like Pet Turtle isn't really too concerned about actually getting any kills. They're more concerned about distracting a lot of the defenses, going around the back, seeing what they can kill, and the answer is nothing because of some great defense by King's Head. Well, okay, so never mind. One wind turret does go down, and another metal extractor to the front. Pet Turtle's distraction play is finally paying off a little bit, but even then, that's four glaze for one wind turret, or one wind generator. That's not great. I mean, Pet Turtle is a little bit ahead, but mostly because they decided to start expanding really I should that quickly. They only have two metal extractors. They're reclaiming a little bit, but Kingstad should be more ahead when it comes to economy. And now their defenses are properly set up. Pet Turtle, I mean, I like their forward play. They're being very aggressive, and it's interesting to watch, but I'm curious how well that's actually going to work, because, again, they don't have this back line set up. Their front line, while relatively defensible, is still kind of small and still easily flanked. And there are a lot of bandits being put into play, so it's kind of tricky. I don't feel Petrol's got the rest set up. Alright, so... Well, given that, Petrol does have a lot of glaives. They do have an imp coming out, which... That'll help. And we're not at the point where outlaws have been built, so the imps are actually going to be effective against shield butts. Later in the game, of course, imps are not that effective because of the outlaws being able to just wipe out everything in a radius. But at the start of the game, imps are useful. Same time, glaives over in the south side of the map are taking out one of the... Oh, nice! Getting out one of the convicts, possibly getting both. The other one is not defended. There's no turrets anywhere. Kingstad is being very open as a result. Same time, though, over the top of the map, we do have the imp getting out. Taking out half of the bandits. The other half will be torn apart by... Or at least, will be having a bit of a hard time against glaives. Two that were stunned, completely dead. The last two are going to... One is going to survive, but still. The entire bandit army wiped out. With almost no consequence. While at the same time, Glaive gets rid of two convicts at the front lines. That wipes out a lot of Kingstad's production capability. Though, Kingstad is already five metal per second ahead. Like, Pet Turtle is actually harassing just to stay even. They're actually way behind. So that is one thing to bear in mind, is that despite Kingstad's loss of workers and general loss of units, they're actually still way ahead in terms of economy and can easily rebuild. And now they have allies coming in, so they're not going to worry too much about anything else. Kingstead Pet Turtle going in and a bit of a commander fight. 
At the same time, bandits are harassing over to the side. But Pet Turtle... Oof, it's gonna be... Pet Turtle and a Lotus versus Kingstat and a Thug. But that Thug is doing a great job defending Kingstat's commander. Bandit's trying to come in to help out as well, but Pet Turtle... Actually, Pet Turtle kind of has the upper hand here. Kingstat will likely have the commander jump away, and there's that jump! But Pet Turtle does have a recon commander as well. They could jump after Kingstat's commander if they wanted to. But it looks like Kingstat's commander does win the day, taking out Pet Turtle's commander and opening up even more potential for actually doing a lot of damage, because now... Pet Turtle basically just lost the effect of these two metal extractors. They remain behind in their economy. Kingstead, I see very few ways for them to actually get into Pet Turtle's base right now, but given how far ahead they are, given the fact that they're right, their, their commander corpse is right in Kingstead's base, Kingstead could pretty easily, as soon as they heal up their commander, just get that all taken for themselves, or, you know, send a few convicts there as well. At the same time, the southwest side of the map, Pet Turtle tries, but they lose a constructor too, so that southwest side pretty much belongs to King's Dad now. But again, King's Dad's way ahead economically, to the point that they're... I mean, they have a caretaker coming up, they really need to get that built up. I do like the fact that they're building a lot of energy, but their energy is fine, they need build power right now. They need a lot of build power, the glaives are coming in, Pet Turtle has been making the most of the build power they have. I mean, mostly for, you know, building their economy up, especially as they've lost their commander. But still, it's, you know, Pet Turtle is still being very aggressive. Kingstad still has less territory to their name. Even if Kingstad has an easier time actually defending it. And at the same time, this is what I was talking about with outlaws coming in and the imps basically can't do anything. And that means there's not a whole lot that Pet Turtle really has up their sleeve. I mean, they are building a lot of imps. Pretty much, yeah, imp, imp glaive, that's it. And again, with Outlaws out, there's nothing that's going to really accomplish. Kingston, on the other hand, with Caretaker, which I don't think is in range to grab that, but I could be wrong. What is the King? No, Caretaker is just out of range to actually grab that corpse. Useful for repair, though. Let's give it that. Good idea. Same time, though, we do... Oh, wow, the Imp actually does something despite that? The Outlaws there? That was unexpected. Mind you, it doesn't get the Owl a bit of a shame. These glaives are toast. But hey, one thug was taken out for free. So, I guess not entirely a loss. Just, you know, an economic loss. Pet Turtle realizing the effect of that throws in the towel, and King's Dead takes the first game. So, nicely done, King's Dead. Started out kind of iffy, because they had a bit of a lower metal usage, metal economy. But, they really pulled out. They always had the army, army value advantage. It was mainly just Pet Turtle came in with a lot of harassment early on, and Kingstead didn't really care. So yeah, Kingstead takes it. That is... This is Swiss, of course, so that's just one win for Kingstead. I mean... Okay, so people are talking about delay. I... I could... I might... I'll, I'll up the delay after this match. I think... I'm not sure who else is currently playing. Let's see. Oh, it looks like this is the last one done. Oh, no, never mind. No, it's a couple more that are they're still running. Anyway, I'm gonna just change the delay again. So, we'll be back in a couple seconds. <laughs> 